Name, age and date of birth. Uh, Ryan, 20, April 7th, 2018. Ethnicity, religious background and blood type. Um, white, no religion. As for blood type, I don't know. Occupation? Um, it's complicated. Okay, um, I'm actually unemployed at the moment, um, but I was hoping to use the money from this to make a fresh start. Before I administer the serum, I do need to make you aware of some possible side effects. Nothing to worry about, it's all quite standard. Are you happy for me to do this? Yeah. From 6 to 12 hours after the procedure, you can expect some nausea alongside headaches. We recommend drinking plenty of fluids and painkillers only when needed. The leaflet will explain all of this. That sounds fair enough. Um, is that all? Um, you may also experience some mood swings as the brain gets used to the chip. Sorry, I hit needles. <laughs> You're not the first. You just feel a small pinch. We all make choices. Hi, Neuro. Hello, Ryan. Neuro, I want to pick a voice. Choose which voice you'd like me to use. Option one, default. Option two, Australian. Option three, Indian. Option four, French. Option five, British. Option one, please. Great, let's try some simple tasks. On the leaflet there are some suggestions. Nero, what's the word of the day? Okay, I found this on the web. Garner, to collect or gather something, or, to get or receive something valued. Example, the researchers garnered more evidence to support their theory. Nero, turn off the lights. Turn the lights back on. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. I sense you're getting anxious. I can only obey your instructions if you say, Neuro, turn the lights back on. Neuro, I'd like you to switch the lights back on.
Ryan, you're trimming those flowers wrong. The web states that you should place your index finger inside the petal and pinch, pulling downwards. Perhaps you should try this. This is working just fine. But I thought you weren't meant to look stuff up unless I asked you to. Place your index finger inside the petal. Place your index finger inside the pedal. No, no, I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop. I thought you wanted to do the task. Yo, let's play a game of chess. Well, please choose an opponent. Your options are. Hey, Ryan, how are you getting on with your tip? Oh, hi. Um, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It has been a bit difficult, though. Why? Uh, it, like, took over the last trial. Like, it just started suggesting me ways to do it properly when I didn't ask. I couldn't control my arm. It just started, like, doing its own thing. It's just your imagination. The breed can play strange tricks when under duress. No. Oh, were you about to play a game of chess? Would you mind if I played a game with you? Um, uh, yeah, sure. Um, come sit with me. I'm actually a very accomplished chess player. You're on. Pawn to h3. Pawn to e5. Pawn to h4. Pawn to d5. Pawn to b3. Bishop to g4. Pawn to d3. Knight to c6. Pawn to g3. Pawn to f5. Pawn to f5. Pawn to d4. Are you okay? Yes. Pawn to 3e. Very impressive. He believes it to be real. That glitch nearly ruined the whole thing. But I think the chip has surpassed our expectations in its ability to warp the brain's auditory and visual perceptions. Just think about the possibilities. Section 4 on the Neurochip Leaflet details that headache. I know what it says! Just shut up and leave me alone! Please don't be like this. Please, Ryan. Please, Ryan. Please, Ryan. You don't have to do this. I want you out of my head. Please stop, Ryan. Please stop. What? Please, Ryan, stop. Three. Three. You're hurting me, Ryan. You're hurting me. Please, please, please. You're hurting me. Please, please, please.